Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, we'll be talking about the level cap increase that will be arriving pretty much tomorrow, along with the Valentine event and February patch, which brings a host of improvements to Borderlands 3. Everything about the news today was met with happiness from the community, except for the level cap increase, which was a little bit of a surprise, not with its appearance as it was always going to come, but with how it came and people didn't really know how to feel about it. Tomorrow the level cap will increase from 50 to 53, which is not a lot. Not enough to make a big difference, your guns will still be fine for the most part, but it will mean that all the weapons you've spent 5 months almost to the day farming for won't be the best they can be, which to me is a little disappointing. And I'm interested to know how you feel about it, so feel free to leave a comment. Level cap increases are a part of the Borderlands life cycle, and it's good how they will be making them free this time, you don't need to purchase them. But it's just a little strange how they only increase it by 3 levels, which doesn't really do anything. Sure you get 3 more skills, but I don't know. I get that they don't want to increase them too much for balance sake, but personally I'd rather not have it as it doesn't really make a difference either way, so what's the point? I'd rather have a higher level increase than what's currently scheduled as 3 levels is more pain than it's worth, although your level 50 guns will still be viable. The recent rare chest riches event, which was great to get a bunch of legendaries, seems a little of a waste now and is really what we need after the patch so we can get back to where we were. The timing of the level increase is earlier than the 7 months it took for Borderlands 2, but a lot later than the just one month it took for the pre-sequel, but both of these were by over 10 levels, so the timing for this for Borderlands 3 doesn't really matter, but the main thing is the precedent this sets. 3 levels now isn't all that bad, but another 3 levels in a couple of months and then another 5 levels 4 months after that is a big grind if you want to stay on top, and I'm not sure many players will want to do that again and again. It seems like maybe a cheap way to get people to continue playing your game, you're, you're not adding any actual content, it may seem that way as there's more skills available and possible builds you can try out, but that's about it. There was just the two level increases over Borderlands 2's mammoth life cycle, barring the most recent one, and there can't be too many for Borderlands 3. They're doing really well trying to support the game, but perhaps there's a better way to introduce the level increases. Ideally, you don't want to farm for all the best gear again at all, but if there's a nice level increase that opens a bunch of opportunities, you'd do it, but generally you don't want to do it more than twice, maybe three times over a couple of years if you love the game and the level increase was worth it, but we may have to do it four or five times or even more if they continue with small level increases, like the three levels we're going to see soon. Sure, in Borderlands 3, the gap in weapon damage between levels is low, and we're probably not going to be noticing too much, but you want to be the best you can be, especially in Mayhem 4, and with true takedown mode coming along as well, being equipped with the best gear will be important. Farming for items themselves isn't that difficult, it wasn't too difficult in Borderlands 2, but farming for the right anointments amplifies the time you'll need to farm for your gear. Sure, we may not need to put in that time right now, but at some stage, we will, so that's all for this video. Let me know how you feel about the level increase. It's not a big deal right now, but it may become one in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.